All right, let's talk about the Joao Costa armbar, what should have been the fastest submission in ADCC, but I was robbed by Gordon Ryan, and he was able to beat me by a few seconds here, right? Um, so we'll talk about it. It was first match of the day, super quick. Um, Joe Acosta, I really wanted to attack him aggressively because I wasn't too worried about his submission game, but I was worried about his tactical ability to play the points and force overtime and stuff, which is obviously, I'm retarded at tactics. I'm either trying to submit him or probably losing, right? <laughs> so we'll talk about some of Joe Acosta did good. And this is something actually Travis Stevens explained to me way back in 2018, and that is the weave is a major issue for leg entries. He's always keeping my hips away here. This is something that's just like, obviously in the gi, it's a bit better here, uh, this weave position, because he could grab the collar with the other hand here, start working uh, knee cut passes and whatnot. But in terms of me attacking legs, I don't know if I should give this away, but I guess I'm, I'm, I'm old, I don't have too many left in me. <laughs> this is really a problem for me to attack legs here. It really keeps a lot of distance. Obviously, again, not a great nogi passing position as it stands, but it's really a problem for me to attack the legs. So my idea was let's attack this arm and hopefully his overreaction to defending this arm will give me some space here to engage the legs, which is obviously uh, where I felt I had quite an edge over Joe Acosta. But something interesting happened here, right? I was able to secure what really was like a Choi Bar style grip. Choi Bar trying to enter the arm saddle here. He didn't remove this arm early at all in this exchange. So I was able to pull myself under and some little tips you can do here, even if they're grabbing my head here, we can hit that wrist and try to rotate their elbow up. So you can see I get a bit of a catch on this arm here. There's tension on JB's arm here. If he tries to rip his arm out, it's tough and really, the closer my lock comes to this elbow here, the more pressure on his elbow. Obviously, we're dealing with someone like Nicky Rod, I could be in great position and he might be so explosive when he does rip his arm out, it fully comes out. But you gotta be careful because Joe Acosta tried to pull his arm out, but it got trapped on the elbow here, right? Really, all he had to do from this position was instead of trying to rip his arm out, he just had to rotate his thumb along the ground this way and you can see now I'm actually just bending his arm here rather than if his thumb's facing this way sort of catching pressure on the back of his elbow and really my plan was this is basically try to slide this knee up and start throwing to attack this Choi Bar position but because Joao was so persistent with trying to pull his arm out my arms slid down to the elbow here and his elbow actually collapsed. So as he tried to pull his arm out, he slid my sort of um, grip down exactly to the elbow. And really, I guess with all the adrenaline and stuff, and I was ripping on it like a caveman, this did buckle in and he kind of panic tapped here. But I really want you to think is if you rotate your thumb out, you're actually beating this sort of Udigatame armbar pressure here but well, obviously it's gonna allow me to start attacking arm bars here. And this really, the plan was obviously hope to get to this arm saddle position, but if he did pull his arm all the way out here, obviously it's gonna open up entries to the leg here. So again, I would say be careful from these positions if you're trying to pull your arm straight out, because it might just slide the lock lower. But again, if you, if you are sort of sensible and relaxed in these positions, you're probably gonna feel that giving up this arm saddle position is a better, uh, a safer a safer thing to do from these positions. Because again, there's no way I'm breaking JB's arm from this position, but obviously if his thumb's pointed towards me here, we've got a great ability to just collapse that elbow in. And that's kind of what happened with Joe Acosta. He pulled his arm a bit and it just really buckled. I caught on the tip of the elbow. His elbow did pop. I don't think it was anything too bad, but really he, there were opportunities to continue sort of that submission threat there to Arba and ultimately to the legs.